Hello my little bonbons, my name is Alan Sweet and you are watching The House 13. Welcome to or welcome back to my small little channel. But before anything, please don't forget to subscribe and become a little bonbon and join the little dollhouse family. Um, today I'm kind of look really pretty today. I'm trying to do a tropical kind of look. I feel very proud. My tits are right. My corset is right. I'm not wearing any padding because I couldn't sit properly. But um, no one's going to be seeing that. So shh. if you see any of my tits at any point, I'm very sorry. But um, yes, as you guys can, as you can guess from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about dating. Dating is one of those things I'm not really experienced about, but I do have some experience. Um, Viva online, viva in person, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be talking about dating. Dating for someone that has anxiety or has um, social anxiety can be very hard. Especially for me, I don't know how to deal with people properly. I don't know how to deal with things properly. So I kind of tendency to freak out kind of in the situation of, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to deal with people. So I would freak out and people would block me and whatever so that's perfectly fine if you can't handle someone that doesn't know how to deal with people and I, I tell people I do have anxiety I do not know how to deal with people properly so I'm sorry and I say sorry a lot I say sorry but I feel like I'm a good person I feel like I'm a good person to talk to and yeah but dating in the gay community is not really dating it's sex and that's just not ugh sex is not my thing sex is completely off whatever I want and I do post that I'm on grinder now because I'm lately I've been lonely and I actually have something to tell you before, after that but um yeah lately I've been lonely so I decided to go on plenty of fish and um grinder and that was fun and actually had tons of I uh, not tons but I actually talked to a few people and that was it and I'm still waiting for the one but I live in Newfoundland and there's not really a lot of many choices, so I just have to deal with whatever. I'm sorry for the hand gestures, it's just how I talk and just makes myself feel more comfortable in the situation of that I'm talking. So um yeah. In dating I actually had a few people. I did meet a few people, um, it was quite lovely. Um my first guy kiss was a person that was in Brampton. He actually went to my um middle school and that was quite interesting and it was my first kiss with a guy and it was very cute but he wanted to do more than just that and his sex wise and ugh, you know so that was kind of a thing but dealing with a lot of gay people they only want to actually have sex and I'm not into that I actually want to get to know someone I want to get to know the human being before we get into that so technically, I'm still waiting for that person. I don't know what it is, but ugh, it's whatever. Dating is hard, especially when, like, how do you tell you that you look like this? How do you tell someone, oh, yeah, I wear dresses on occasions. Or I like to put on makeup or whatever reason. Mostly when the gay community, you want a masculine man because that's what attracts you is because of masculinity and I'm not really that right now. I'm not really that in most occasions. I'm. I don't really think I'm feminine. I don't think I'm masculine. I think I am who I am. I mean, sure, I love dresses. I love makeup. I love that. But I also love horror and blood and guards. And I do like cars. But what defines masculinity and femininity? I mean, let's look. At, let's talk about that for a second. For long ago in the 1950s or whatever. Pink was actually masculine and feminine, and blue was actually more feminine. And so it's quite interesting to think about that. So I can understand a lot of people's disgrace, uh, a lot of people that actually just want to date more masculine things, and that's just not me. So I have to wait that. Um, I have dated a few people. My dating records are not really interesting or really good. I dated a person from Mexico. I dated someone that stole money from me. Um, I dated someone that was didn't was afraid to actually come out of his family so it was a secret and he broke up because he lied to me well he kind of lied i felt like he lied so um yeah they didn't say that and i don't know what it is but i was watching a lot of youtube and youtube really recommended me watching a lot of 
trailers of the LGBT, mostly gay ones. And um, it was quite interesting because um, it's quite interesting because most of those trailers, and this one really pisses me off. This one pisses me off to the point that I don't quite understand that why in the LGBT, or why in a gay movie is the guy guy kissing a girl? I understand you're experimenting with your sexuality, you're learning about your sexuality, but why is a, why are they kissing a girl? I don't understand. If you're gay, you're gay. Let them be gay. And I don't don't freaking understand that. That pisses me off. I just it just annoys me so much. But um yeah. And I don't understand that why does that piss me off so much? I don't understand. If you are gay or if you're playing a gay person or whatever, why does the gay person have to kiss someone? Kiss a girl. I don't understand that. That pisses me off so much. Ugh. I know I have I have kissed a lot of girls in my past because I was afraid to come out, blah, blah, blah. But, like, these people knew they're the gay. And they're, like, 21, they're 20-something years old or whatever. And it doesn't annoy me. I'm sorry. But, anyways, dating. Yeah, not really. I, I'll tell you my progress of dating um, in future videos or whatever. I actually had someone that come back from my past. And that was the one that took money from me. And he said, I miss you. I want you to come back. Please come back. And I'm like, no. I live in Newfoundland now. And... You're more problematic than anything else. Also, when you're ever meeting someone, I say carry a pencil. Because you never know. Like, you have to carry a pencil. Because it's not a knife. It's not, like, things people think of arts or whatever. That's what I used to do whenever I actually met someone. And mostly them on a sexual thing. So I just, just in case I actually had to. But, um, yeah. So this is my dating experiences of whatever you can call my dating life. Because I don't got one. But I'm, um, yeah, trying to find love out there, but, you know, a gay, drag queen, antisocial. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment your dating experiences and, you know, dating stories. Because I want to know so I don't feel so lonely out there that I actually have those horrible, horrible dating experiences. But, um, yeah, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.